Hi there and welcome to this day in history for June 30th. Here we are at the end of June already. Can you believe it? June 30th is the 181st day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 182nd in leap years with 184 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is Trojan horse. Trojan horse is a noun that means something or someone placed in order to subvert from within. In computing, a Trojan horse is a program that, while seemingly useful, steals passwords or does other damage to computers. This word comes to us from the story of the legendary Trojan War when the Greeks left a large, hollow wooden horse at the gates of the city of Troy. The Trojans took it inside. The Greek soldiers hidden inside the horse came out at night and opened the gates of the city, allowing the Greek army to enter and conquer. And with that, we're going to start with the year 1805, when on June 30th, the U.S. Congress organized the Michigan Territory. June 30th, 1859, French acrobat Charles Blondin crossed Niagara Falls on a tightrope. On June 30th, 1860, the 1860 Oxford Evolution Debate at the Oxford University Museum of Natural History took place. This was seven months after the publication of Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species. Several prominent British scientists and philosophers participated in that discussion. Things got heated and the participants started snipping at each other. Truth to tell, it was less of a debate and more of an animated discussion. On June 30, 1864, President Abraham Lincoln granted Yosemite Valley to California for public use, resort, and recreation. On June 30, 1864, Charles Guiteau was hanged in Washington, D.C. for the assassination of U.S. President James Garfield. On June 30, 1905, Albert Einstein sent an article entitled On the Electrodynamics of Moving Bodies, in which he introduced the idea of special relativity. Ooh, the Tunguska event was a large explosion that occurred near the Tunguska River in Russia on the morning of June 30, 1908. This explosion over sparsely populated eastern Siberia flattened an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 830 square miles of forest. Eyewitness reports suggested that at least three people may have died in the event. The explosion is generally attributed to the air burst of a stony meteoroid about 328 feet in size. It's classified as an impact event, the largest impact event on Earth in human recorded history even though no impact crater has been found. This object is thought to have disintegrated at an attitude of 30 to 60 miles rather than hit the surface of Earth. This is the birthday of American actress Susan Hayward, born June 30, 1917. She has quite a filmography ranging from 1937 to 1972 and was listed as one of the most popular stars in the country in eight different years. Susan Hayward died of cancer at the age of 57. The beautiful actress, singer, and activist Lena Horne was born on June 30, 1917. She started out as a nightclub singer when she was only 16 and then made her way to Hollywood where she appeared in film, television, and theater. Lena Horne lived to the age of 92. June 30, 1934 was the night of Adolf Hitler's violent purge of his political rivals in Germany, which they called the Night of the Long Knives. This has been referred to as political extrajudicial executions, which is a euphemism for assassination. The world's first emergency number, 999, was introduced in London on June 30, 1937. This is the birthday of American parapsychologist and author Dr. Raymond Moody, Jr., born June 30, 1944. He's perhaps best known for his work on life after death and near-death experiences, and of course his best-selling book, Life After Life. 
Oh, honey, happy, happy birthday to the Chevrolet Corvette. The first Corvette rolled off the assembly line in Flint, Michigan on June 30th, 1953. This is the birthday of American actor Vincent D'Onofrio, born June 30th, 1959. A very busy actor, he's been in over a hundred movies and TV shows and is still working. You might remember him as Edgar in the movie Men in Black. Chet Atkins was an American singer, songwriter, guitarist, and producer. He performed mostly in the country music genre and was known as Mr. Guitar and the Country Gentleman. Chet Atkins died on June 30th, 2001 at the age of 77. There were a striking number of plane crashes throughout the years on this date. I saw five listed in several different years beginning in 1956 with the last one occurring in 2015. Seems to me like June 30th is a good day to stay on the ground if you can. Today's song is I Can't Stop Loving You by Ray Charles. This song was written in June of 1957 by a country singer, songwriter, and musician, Don Gibson, who first recorded it that same year in 1957. He released it on the B-side of Oh Lonesome Me. <laughs> this record became a double-sided country hit single. Over the remaining 46 years of Don Gibson's life, I Can't Stop Loving You was recorded by more than 700 artists. Ray Charles recorded I Can't Stop Loving You in February of 1962, released it in April of that year, and it hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on June 2nd of 1962, where it held that number one spot for five weeks. I Can't Stop Loving You by Ray Charles, number one, June 30th, 1962. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called no really <laughs> you can also find me on rumble parlor bit shoot and getter all those links in that description all righty that's all i can think of right now thanks again and i'll see you next time